Hello everyone and welcome back to your app task training. My name is Ashwarya and I'll be your trainer for today. In this video, we will learn how to source resumes from Dice. This is my home page and I have my login credentials already saved. I'll click on sign in. This is the Dice home page. Now there are two types of searches on Dice. One is the candidate search and one is the intelli search. To tell you a little bit about IntelliSearch, this is the new search that DICE has recently introduced. Let's find out what it offers. IntelliSearch provides a fast and easy way to find relevant candidates. You can enter entire postings, resumes or other candidate related content and it will recognize the critical information for you. How this works is you have to paste your job post in here and DICE will identify keywords from there and make a search string for you and find the right results. You can just put in the job title, your location and do a search and it will find candidates for you. But my personal favorite is the candidates search. For example, if we have to find project managers. Let's go to the advanced search to have better results. There are many filters to change our search. I'll post the project manager title in the job title and I will put the keyword as PMP for certification and implementation. And for example, if you have to find candidates in New York City, simply select New York and within 40 miles and click on add this location. Now you can add multiple locations and run the same search for two different locations. You can take the second location as Jersey City in New Jersey. This is the resume freshness. You can select how fresh you want the resume to be. Usually we start with a 30 day search and move from 30 to 60 or 90 and maybe up to 365 days. The second thing that DICE offers that not many job boards offer is you can select what you want on the resume. If you are only looking for candidates with emails, you can simply select from contact method and check email and only find candidates that have their email IDs updated or you can select both of them. I prefer keeping it unchecked for this search. Likely to switch, this is based on the candidate history of how frequently they change their jobs. DICE has identified most likely to switch, possibly willing to switch, unlikely to switch and willing to switch unknown. Total years of experience, if I want my candidate to be anywhere between 0 to 20 years, I can simply put it there and I will find candidates with 0 to 20 years of experience. Now, if my client is looking for someone who has a bachelor's degree to be minimum, I can select bachelor's and master's and add it to my search. It also offers you to select candidates who can speak particular languages. For example, right here we have options for people who can speak in English, Spanish, French, German, Russian, Chinese, Italian, Hindi, Japanese, Arabic and Portuguese. These are all the possible languages available. Then you can simply select from here and you'll find the candidates that can speak these languages. This is another feature that DICE offers. If you want social profile of the candidates attached to the DICE profile, for example, if you want someone to get a profile, you only want to look for candidates who have GitHub, Stack Overflow, Dribble, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn or Meetup, any of these accounts linked to the DICE account, you can simply check any of these boxes and the search will be refined accordingly. And last but not the least, you can add this additional filter to exclude third-party candidates. This means the resume that has been posted not by candidates but by someone else who is taking care of the resumes. What this means is if you work on cop to cop, you might find across a lot of people who are visa holders, specifically H1 visa holders and these candidates, most of their activity on job boards is managed by their employers. 
So when I say employers, these are the employers that hold the H-1 visa for the candidates as he is one of their W-2. So if you check this option, this will avoid any candidates that are working with employers. This is resume freshness. You can select how fresh you want the resumes to be. Someone who has updated their resume in the last 90 days. Employment type. You can select candidates that are only looking for full-time jobs or contract to hire on a W-2. Similarly, contract on a W-2 or maybe an independent contract. Contract to hire independent. Contract to hire cop to cop and part-time. You can select any of these options based on the nature of the requirement that you are actively looking for. Then there are authorized countries. If you're working for United States or maybe any other country, you can simply select those options and I will skip it for now. Work permit. Most of the times we come into situations where our client only wants green card or US citizens for those roles. So this is where you know you can select this option from DICE. You can click the checkbox for US citizens and green cards and the search will come up with candidates that have US citizenship or green card as a work authorization. Similarly, for compensation, you can select the minimum and the maximum salary range. Now, this is one interesting filter that DICE offers. You can segregate people that have security clearance. I will skip explaining this for now because we will do an entire video on how to find candidates with security clearances. Last but not the least, willing to relocate. As you can see, there are two options. First one goes by willing to relocate anywhere and the second option goes by willing to relocate to a specific location. Now you can go back to a search and simply click find candidates. So now my search will come back with candidates that are project managers as title, have a PMP certification and working on implementations and are local to New York City or Jersey City in New Jersey within 30 to 40 miles of radius of any of these two locations. Now, we can see how our search has turned out so far. So the keywords that we used in our search will always be highlighted on the resume. As you can see, PMP is highlighted. It's a part of the search string that we used. The candidate has experience with SDLC required for support to project implementations. This is the candidate that holds up PMP certification, is currently working as a project manager and has prior implementations experience. This position is with one of my clients working within the banking industry and this candidate is coming down with banking experience working with Deutsche Bank since 2012. That's like almost 8 years with that company. So I wouldn't want to reach out to this candidate for any contracting positions because they have been in their position for a while. And it will be difficult having a conversation with them when we reach out to them for a contract job. If you look at the resume, it will have all the information that we have opted for. You can see that this candidate has a master's degree in management from Harvard University and a bachelor's degree with a minor in finance from Hofstra University in Hempstead, New York. So this is the candidate that we were looking forward to. You can download this resume with full profile PDF or download the original format that the candidate has uploaded. You can share the resume to your personal ID by clicking here. I'll put email ID which is parvez at the rate apptask.com, add it to my address book and I have attached the profile. Simply click on send. The moment I click on send this resume, I get a notification that your candidate email was sent. This candidate will be in my inbox in the next two minutes. I can call them now by the number here, send them a first contact email and accordingly follow up with them. This was basically how you can search candidates on DICE. DICE also offers a couple of features where you can post jobs, but for that you'll have to buy those job postings. 
job postings are reusable and suppose if you buy one job posting on dice you can reuse these jobs a number of times during that one month of subscription that's it for now folks thank you for watching